What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're gonna do today. We're gonna do a traditional draft Ravnica allegiance. That's not. That's a weird. That's weird syntax, right? Shouldn't it be traditional Ravnica allegiance draft? Like, don't you want to make the noun? Like, don't you want to make this a noun? Like, instead of a verb, you're like you're saying, "Hey, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna traditional draft Ravnica allegiance." But then, like, because draft is a verb, but sealed isn't a verb, right? So you can have sealed Ravnica allegiance, and you're not doing anything. This isn't indicating any sort of verb, right? Like, I'm not like, hey, what are you doing right now? I'm doing sealed Ravnica allegiance. Like, that's not a verb, right? You're just saying the noun. It's like, I'm, you know, uh, you're, you're just making the verb the noun, right? Like, so you'd be like hammering. I'm hammering something, which is like just a noun that's turned into a verb. So you know what it means. <clears throat> But I mean, like, you could just literally say traditional Ravnica or Ravnica Legion's traditional draft. You know, if you put the traditional draft or even just the draft portion at the end, then you actually have the act that you're doing. So anyway, it just seems kind of silly. Well, if Ravnica Legion is a subtitle, like, it's on the same line. So it's not, there's no sub there. There's no sub whatsoever. And also there's no hyphen or colon to indicate that this is a section, this is a subcategory of traditional draft. So, uh, I have no thoughts on the Punisher season two because I have not watched it yet. So, uh, but I, I'm sure I will once that time comes. Font of agonies. Whenever you pay life, that may put the put you put the volume, put the, blah, 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 blah. every time I stutter like that, I feel like I don't don't tell him I said this, but I feel like Ollie because Ollie does have a tendency to like trip over himself sometimes when he talks. Um. Whenever you pay life, put that many blood counters on Font of Agonies, and then you can remove four of them to destroy a creature. Unfortunately, paying life in limited is not uh, extremely common. Death touch, and it can become a 4-1. That's fine. I don't know if I want to commit to Rakdos right now. I do like a Quench, maybe? I have heard good things about the second season of Punisher. <coughs> So that's good. That that gives me hope. Um, I think it just might just be rumbling ruin. Like a six six for six is fine. Like I mean, it's <clears throat> three two for four where that scries one, which is either blue or white, is also nice. Hmm. I don't know. Being relatively, like, this is our second draft. This is our, not even our second draft. This is our yeah. This is our second draft. I'll get it. I'll get it together. This is our second draft. So um, I'm not going to assume that I'm super familiar with this format. I like Senate Griffin. It just does keep us open in two colors that I am. I am pref I am preferable towards. That I am fond of. Hmm? Yes. I'll take Senate Griffin. I think it's fine. Ooh. Alright. Well. Huh. 3-3 three, three, other creatures flying a plus. Yeah, that's actually pretty good too. Oh, so is Sphinx of New Prov. I actually like both of these. I think this card's fine. But not being able to cast non-creature spells in limited is pretty brutal. Oh, no arena overlay? Yeah, I have it. I just haven't actually opened it. So it probably needs to be updated as well. It's probably like, Ooh, there's an update. There's a Ravnica Allegiance update. So anyway, I'm opening it right now. So you guys can get your 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 MTG Arena overlay experience. Installing. Please wait. Maybe it's just it. Maybe it installs it by itself. That'd be great. Um, <clears throat> I don't, like, based on our first pick, I, I could just sooner take one of these two very, very powerful flyers. Um... Let me know if uh, the overlay is working now, because it should be G2G, as the kids say. Yeah, I'm definitely not taking the 5-5. Five five. Like, we just picked a blue-white blue, blue -white card. And uh, here's a 3-3 three -three with other flyers, so this makes this a 4-2 automatically, which is super nice. Um, but then we have 4-drop Sphinx, which is also nice. This commits us to only blue, but this commits us to blue-white. But 4-3 Flying Vigilance, that's very hard to kill. I'm going to take the Sphinx. And I guess we're just going to be Azorius. And Bring to Trial is pretty nice if we're Azorius. Oh, well, Lawmage's Binding is actually... Yes. Hopefully Bring to Trial comes back. But yeah, Lawmage's Binding is sick. Yeah, and Chain Creature can attack, block, and it's activated. But it's, it's, it's just pacifism, but for 3 mana. That also affects... Uh, activated abilities, and it can be flashed in, so. Just 
Let's try to remember if I can scry one, two, three. One four flyer for three is actually pretty not bad. I don't love drawing four and discarding two, so netting two cards. However, I mean, it's not actually terrible if you're just doing it at instant speed and you have nothing else to do. Um, similarly, I wouldn't mind taking a consign to the pit and just being like an Esper deck splashing for the black because this is a very solid removal. Just destroying any creature and then dealing two damage to them. Uh, which is not the... This is not the first time we've seen this card, but it's interesting because it's the same exact card, but with a different name. So... Try to find my trash can so I can put my feet up. So I don't know. I think we're I think we're between this, this, and consign, but I don't think we have to go into a third color yet. Oh, uh, you actually well yeah, you sure you net one, right. But I mean I'm just I'm just referring to like the card itself is getting you two card two new cards. <clears throat> but still, like six mana, I think we can do better. Um so I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure we're just gonna take all the flyers. Like I'd rather have a one four than a two three. Uh, that flies, especially if we get another one of those plus one plus O Griffins or Drakes, I guess they were. But I guess this is also kind of vigilance. Ah, oh, man. I guess it's fine. Code of Constraint. Target your detective for a row, draw a card. It's actually pretty good. If you cast a spell during your main phase, tap that creature, it doesn't untap. This is actually the versatility of this is very strong. And there's nothing else we're really competing for in this pack, so I'm okay with it. 3-2, uh, when it enters the battlefield, plus one, plus one. Yeah, not great. Uh, I'd rather just have the guild gate here. It keeps us open for any future splashes. Creatures you can trigger plus one, plus three, and untap them. Nay. I'll just take a quench. Actually, I like Galloping Lizrog a lot. I think it's very strong. As a 3-3 three, three for five with Trample, if you if you remove one counter from a creature, it's a 5-5. Five, five. If you remove two counters, it's a 7-7, seven, seven, which is very strong. The problem is that, like, <clears throat> as an Azorius deck, I'm not familiar enough with how many counters we're going to have on our creatures. So I'll just take I'll just take the quench that I know we're going to play. 1-3, target player puts a top card in the library into the graveyard. Tap four advisors. They put 12 cards into their library. As a 1-3 for two, I'm kind of okay with this. I mean, I don't think we're going to get any, <clears throat> any future advisors. I mean, just this year's portal is also pretty fine. It just protects one of your creatures. I'm going to take this guy. And, uh... Talk about the top three cards of the library into the graveyard. I wonder if we can just mill some people out. Plus three, pl plus oh, plus three is not terrible. Or we could just take a second quench, but I think I think we're just gonna take the shield just in case. Like we can probably get another quench pretty easily. Whatever. Overlay is on and working. Nice. And sideboard. Sideboard. Yeah, this is actually fine sideboard. We also just take the Simic Guildgate. Destroy an artifact or enchantment. <clears throat> yeah, I'd rather just have this in the sideboard. Then a guild gate we may not use. Wow, these these red cards are pretty impressive. Two five hex proof for five. It's not ideal, but it's basically unbeatable. What was that noise? I feel like that noise should have indicated something really impressive, but it did not. There's nothing impressive here, just the cinder vines. High alert, each creature assigns damage equal to its toughness. That actually could be impressive. Like, we have a 1-4, we have a 2-5, and we can also, we have the 1-3 as well. This makes it, this is pretty strong. Um, hmm, well that's fascinating. Could be another Lawmage's Binding as well. This is a hell of a build around though. Kind of like this. We're going to try this. We're going to try High Alert. <clears throat> oh, another Sphinx of New Prov and a Tithe Taker and a Windstorm Drake. This pack is gas. So we could take our first Windstorm Drake or we could take our second Sphinx of New Prov. I think it's probably our first Windstorm Drake. Yeah, it seems fine. 
Whenever a gate enters the battlefield, can't be blocked. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage, blah, blah, blah. You get it. Sphinx might wheel, but I have no idea. Actually, Azorius Knight Arbiter is actually pretty nuts with high alert, right? It's just an unblockable 5-5 five, five with Vigilance. That's pretty crazy. We only have one... We only have one gate here, but it's still a 1-3. So I'm leaning towards Gateway Sneak, Chillbringer, or Azorius Knight Arbiter. But I do like Sneak because it is uh, a cheaper creature. We already have two 5-drops. Um, Watchful Giant, 3-6. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to take the other Law, Law Mage's Binding. This card's nuts, and uh, I'll probably take as many Law, Law Mage's Bindings as we can get. We could take Essence Capture. It's not bad. It does deal with a creature, and uh... Tom Bombadil, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Happy Chicken Sunday and happy four months in a row, good sir. <clears throat> so, I'm pretty sure it's either one of these. I don't think we want another. Like, like my, I'm under the impression we're gonna get a lot of five drops. We can get as many five drops as, as are available. Um, I think it's binding. Oh, Swirling Torrent is nuts. Uh, put target creature on top of its owner's library and return a creature to its owner's hand. Like, the the, the amount of tempo you get from, from this card is pretty unbelievable. I'm just going to definitely take Swirling Torrent. Our deck is also looking pretty good right now, as far as I can tell. Eh, I don't care about Civic Stalwart. <clears throat> I'll just take a second Quench. It's plus one, plus two, and has Vigilance. It is a Flash enchantment, which is nice. If you cast it during your main phase, you can give Lifelink, which is nice. Plus two, plus two, and Flying. It's probably just a Sentinel's Mark. It's a combat trick. I don't know if we're going to be playing it, but... Another Quench? How many Quenches are we going to take? I'm going to take the Collu Collision Colossus. We're not going to play either of these. Consigned to the... That's a late consigned to the pit. But I guess it doesn't... That's not really how this works. So. Yeah, I'll take a two drop. I do not see us... Port, I do not first see us playing the two drop, but... Another consigned to the pit, sure. This time I'll take it. How's the officer knight clear the mind? None of these are exciting. Oh, the Essence Capture came back? Wow, that's awesome. Oh, the Persistent Precision. I was I want the I wanted the Partitioners as well, just because they're a 1-3 with our with our high alert, but also a uh with multiple advisors. We can mill them. <coughs> Let's take a locket, I guess. Ooh, two lockets. Oh, hoo -hoo, we did it, boys. And girls, ladies and gentlemen. Dovin Bon. Like you do. Like you do. Yep, that seems pretty sweet. It is hard to be a genius surrounded by lesser minds. I agree with you. Also, Spirit of the Spires is a pretty insane pick. 2 4 flyer that pumps our other flyers. Our deck is looking insane right now. Uh, here's a little cutie cat. Uh, we could just take another guild gate. I think he called everyone lesser minds. Don't you forget about me. Um, I guess it's <clears throat> Azorius guild gate here. That seems fine. Here's a 2-3. Not terrible. I don't. This card might be decent, but like, it seems more defensive than anything. I guess it's good if you attack another guy, so they think you're gonna trade, and then you get to blow them out with a bunch of nonsense. I don't know. I might just want the three drop instead. What do you have for three drops? Not a creature. 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 Dovin Bond. High alert. Two bindings. Oh, wait, hold on. High alert, though. Yeah, we'll take that. That seems good. 
I'm a big I'm a big frilled mystic fan. So we got Skatewing Spy. Which is not great because like we're not gonna have a bunch of creatures with counters on it is the problem, but it's good. It's a two three for four. I don't know. It's probably better than the Viscopa Vampire for sure. I'm a big fan of Mystic Snake, but I'll just take Skatewing Spy. I don't see us playing it though. Oh, another 10th District veteran. Oh, another persist persistent petitioners. I think that's probably fine. I don't know if we're going to play all these, but whatever. Is veteran better than another 3-drop? Probably not. I actually like having one. one. Ah, we don't actually have a veteran yet, so I'll take a veteran. Another gateway sneak? And another petitioners? We could, we could live the dream and have all four petitioners. The problem is that there's, like, no other advisors anywhere. I think Sneak is probably better, especially because we have two Gildiates. I'll take the Sneak. We're probably going to cut some number of Petitioners. I'll take Simic Gildiate, sure. Just in case. Grill Gildiate, sure. Eh, I'll take the Uncommon. <sighs> Let's not forget. I have to build a collection, guys. What is this? Look at this little... This cat looks thick, man. Uh, yeah, drill that's fine. Sure. Sure. Yeah, our deck seems pretty sweet. <clears throat> we can definitely cut one of these three drops. Or we can cut a, a petitioner. We're probably. Screaming Shield actually seems a lot better. I don't think we have any other two drops. Like, is I'm tempted to just cut the petition, the cut, cut the petitionals in general, but they're not, they're not bad with high alert. But scry two guy, and maybe we can just add another quench. That might be better. Uh, this is fine, but we don't have black for the for the death touch, so it's kind of like meh. So we have to make what one cut here? I don't. What is it? Thirty-nine to forty. Wait, do we get an extra card here? Fascinating. What is this? Oh, um, cancel. I don't know what that is, but we'll find out. We'll find out. We got some, we got some vault shenanigans going on here. Okay, so we're gonna play everything. We get to add one more card. How many creatures? Does it tell me how many creatures I have? Please tell me. 11 creatures? Yeah, we're probably just going to add a creature. We'll probably just add Sage's Rose Savant. Just have another early drop. And what's our what's our mana distribution? 6, 9? I mean, I understand it, but we're probably going to cut one of these and just add one more planes. Which is 10, 9. I like that. Let's put High Alert up here. <laughs> as our As our dude. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, that's pretty good. I don't know what. I don't know how I got that, but I don't know how things work in this in this client yet. So. Right, no, I, I know the extra, by extra hubbies of a vault, you get vault progress, but I didn't know, like, what determines whether I get three uncommons, two rares, and a mythic. This hand seems pretty bad. Eh, maybe it's not terrible. Are we on the draw? Dang. They did go to six, though, so they basically can't win, I think. 
Is it just luck? That's what I mean. Is it just random? Like, whatever six you get is just random? Do you always get six? Like, uh, we're going to leave it leave with the island. I keep I keep having my hand on, like, on like six so that I can pass the turn, but I'm not like, ah, oh, it doesn't work this way. Wow. Main phase growth spiral, huh? A bold strategy, Cotton. All right, so next turn we get to start doing stuff. Are they not doing anything this turn? If we get to play a Dovin Bond on an empty board, I'm pretty okay with it, especially when we have multiple ways to... Look at this little cutie. Look at this Azorius Thopter. So next turn we can actually play this guy. And then we have one twos. How big are you? Can be blocked by creatures of power two or less. I see. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna play this now in case they have a, a counter spell. Like, this just seems big enough. A 4 4 4 4 that can't be blocked by uh, any of my creatures, basically, is uh, seems like a pretty decent place for our removal. I guess we're making another one. Hmm... So we don't, want, we don't want to attack here, right? I guess we could just, like... Could just plus Dovin for the heck of it. But if we hit a land, we get to go Sneak and High Alert, which is nice. I only should get Thopter. No attacks. Well, that guy's pretty good against us. But we did hit a land. And we can play high alert and we can play sneak, which is pretty sweet. Or we can just actually like bounce one, put the other one on top. I guess we probably want to do this first so that we can get through with more things. Uh, let's say no attacks, I guess. Actually, 4-4? Four, four? Hmm. No, it doesn't do anything. I like that those. Ah, I like that it showed that while we were in combat. That's pretty nice. So you don't have to like keep track and be like, well, it's a two four. I guess I could just block it. Oh darn, I forgot about this onboard thing. That's one of my least favorite things about Magic. Like, I don't think you should be rewarded for being able to keep track of nine hundred things. I don't think that's where the strategy of Magic comes from. Where you're like, oh, I gotta keep track of this, 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 and I missed this one, so I'm not gonna get to do. I'm, I'm you know, I'm gonna be penalized for it. You know. So, all right, uh, let's, I'll choose this one and this one, done. Dark creature on top. Don't counter this, bro. Don't squelch me. Don't frilled mystic me. Oh, wow, you're going to frilled mystic me. Oh, it's going to be, I want to feel so bad about my whole life. Oh my god, it resolved. Oh, this is a lot of damage. That's fine. Oh, that doesn't even do anything because it actually hits their... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what a turn. Woo, that's a good time. Wow. So slime bind and high alert, that's what's known as a non-bow. Oh, you know, just because 
I guess we can neg seven here. Holy God, I just threw up as well. Two, four, they can block two of these, so they block these two and they take six. They're still dead. All right, well, let's see what happens. Yeah, they have one mana up. They're pretty much dead. Apparently, Dovin Bond and High Alert are decent magic cards. Decent magic. That's a good magic card. Uh, got him. All right. Are they dead? I think so. I think so. What do they have? They had the... The only thing we saw was slime bind, and a bunch of floaty boys. Yeah, I think I don't think we I don't think we need anything. Do you see yourself switching over to MCGA for the foreseeable future? Or do you still think you're beyond? I have to, like, I have to do. I mean, I, have, I don't have a choice. I can't. I can't just be on MTGA because they don't have modern, legacy, vintage, or any of the cubes on, on arena. So, like, there's literally no way for me to just do one or the other right now. Waiting on our opponent. Do you think they actually died because of the that that last game? Uh, I think we'll keep this. We have turn two guy and we have turn three guy, turn four guy, turn four guy, turn yeah. This hand is great. As long as we can find. How much does it cost to get going with it? I mean, I just spent two hundred on on Ravnica Allegiance packs so that I would have playables. I have a bunch of playables and I put together a pretty sweet Bant Flash deck uh, that I thought was pretty cool. So. I mean, you don't have to spend that much. I'm just kind of a completionist when it comes to stuff like that. And I like to make sure, like, if I want to try, like, a bunch of different decks, I want to be able to actually do that and not have to, like, change my... Oh, this is... This is gas. You can go on the bottom and you can stay on top. I mean, I have to assume that Arena will be on uh, mobile devices soon enough. That has to be their goal, so. Eh, I guess we'll attack first. Not like it matters, but. <clears throat> yeah, so next turn we have four drop, five drop. We can go Griffin into a Wind Drake, or we can go Spirit into Wind Drake, which actually makes it a 4 4. Cool. MK, thank you so much for the re for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Okay, this guy's really obnoxious. Well, that card's good. Hmm. Well. <sighs> this only buffs this. I think I'd just rather have the, the Scryer out because I'd... Rather find like a Lawbringers. Azorius Gate's actually pretty good next turn because it lets us play another four drop. And we can get in with the. Yeah, we'll keep that on top. And we can get in with the Gateway Sneak. Uh, no attacks for obvious reasons. Uh, no blocks. Because, come on, let's be real. Scuttle Gator. So we can drop this guy like it's hot. Play this dude. You got Defender, huh? So when we're getting another with you and with you. And we get to draw a card. Mother of God. If we hit another land, we can just swirling turn your four drop and your six drop, which is pretty unbelievable. 
Yeah, that's fine. You you do what you got to do. Wow, double growth. Is that your third one this game? Wow, you have three cards in your graveyard. They're all growth spirals. That is something right there. Well, that's a good one too. Yeah, this card's busted. Let's be real. Put you on top. Put you in the hand. Give your creatures back and then we'll punch you in the face. And then we still get to draw a card. God. Sure. Bustin makes me... So we just went on, on board because of the two flyers and the plus one, plus oh. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. Our deck is pretty good. Y'all want to see a dead body? Oh. Oh. This might be quicker than I thought. No, they smell. I said you want to see one, not smell one. Come on, Marty, get it together. Marty! What's with the blue black control list I see 24/7 on your stream? What's the, what what blue black control list do you see on my stream? I have no idea. I can't remember the last time I played a blue black control list. Uh, I will play first because oh, I'm maniac. It's in the deck list overlay. Oh, I don't know. That was just the last deck we played. That's hilarious. I don't. <laughs> Guess I should just probably should I disable that? I don't even know. Um, this hand's mulliganable. Wow, this hand is actually worse. It's the same as the last hand, only instead of a Dovin Bond, we have a two drop. Well, they would have had a one one. Oh. Oh, I like it. I like it. It is hard to be a genius surrounded by lesser but now they have a, a really good attack here i guess we can just take one. Oh yeah this is a this is a block for sure um so actually we're just gonna block here with both this is actually a nice attack because if we don't block here they're gonna just deal one to dovin bond and then we, they still have a guy on board if we do block they're gonna deal one to dovin bond but at least we get to take care of the creatures here so and they're gonna shoot dovin bond anyway but that's fine Well, we know we're going to draw this. That's actually good. We can play that next turn. Downtown. Sacrifice creature with the greatest power. That seems good. Must be nice. Dope both a Dovin Bond? Okay. No blocks. Um. Yeah, no. You can go to the bottom. We're not going to block with the 1-1. One, one. So. Uh, 
Don't play anything. Just don't play anything. Oh, that's actually great. Oh, this is nice. Now we get to like, now the board is stable and we get to prevent anything else that, yeah, that's gonna get countered. And put a counter on this guy and now all of a sudden we have a 3-4. Well, that's something. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, that's fine. Okay, well. No attacks, because then they just double block, and then they get to keep a 2-3, and we have nothing. Okay, yeah, bring bring those. Bring those. Did you... That was... That was fascinating. Um... No attacks. Oh, uh, all right. I didn't know we were. I didn't know we were there. I guess we'll take two. Yeah, I don't like this because it has a static ability on the board, which I'd rather just get rid of, but we don't actually have the luxury of doing that. And our deck doesn't really even do that anyway, so... Oh, boy. <clears throat> well, that must be nice. Oh, that's good. That's a good card. No attack. Of course, it's awkward because like we play this on like they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So like there's very few removal spells that can't just kill this anyway without that. Now they have eight, so they can go consign this guy for six. Is that vigilance? Oh, that's gas. Nice. We're saving this in case we draw exactly this. Nice. And turn. So next time we're going to get to draw a card from this. Deal an extra five. Yeah, that's fine. What are your abilities? Tap a creature with power four greater. So this actually costs four to use on this. Luno, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, um... High alert's gonna let us deal extra damage here and less and one less damage here, but it also lets them block with this guy. So it's actually worse for us in this particular juncture. We could attack with this, but like they just block here. They have no real. Okay, see, that's a good dude to have with a high alert. Sure. I think we're doing it again, guys. I think we're, we're getting our crush on. Well, that's no good. Stacks for four. Is this... Wait, no, cancel. <laughs> Each creature you control. Why is this a two four? Oh, because it's a two three and then it gets plus one. Yeah, all right, sure. So we can attack for five and they have to like put a bunch of dudes in front of it, but unfortunately... doesn't tap any of our creatures except for this one but I guess they can tap this one so let's just go to combat and see what they do oh well not attacking with that so if they do they can block here and here well they have to block here here and here but we still get to only kill one dude which is pretty bad we just attack with everything I feel like we're pretty favored if we attack with everything 
Now, again, the two fours are bad to attack with. We'll attack with these guys. Or not the two fours, the three threes are bad to attack with into the two fours, is what I'm saying. Oh wow. Oh wow. Um so we can kill you and that's pretty much it. But I think that's probably worth it especially because we have 3 3 floaty boy and this is only a yeah, we'll do that. Uh no wonder if they'll be killing this guy. Four and then one and then yeah whatever. Yep, this is fine. Deals one damage to you and you draw. Sure, that's actually very good. Well, that's pretty terrible at this particular juncture. Oh, wow. Huh. Sure. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, well, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Well, I guess we yes, can still activate this guy. This hand is ready for some butt quenching. Well then. Well then. Both of our guild gates are in place, so this guy's actually never going to uh, be able to get in there unblocked again. So, okay. Cool. Seems good. I like it. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, now we're in pretty bad shape. Because they just get to go deal us two, deal us two... Puts us down to seven, and they can attack for three, four, five, six, seven. We get to block one guy. Wait, they didn't attack? I don't know what's going on. Oh, come on. Can I get a Sphinx's relation here? Yeah, we're dead. Like this is this is the end. So all all of these are spells. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 spells. Uh two. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So these are three more spells than we did. One of ours was a quench. Not ideal at this point. This is kind of tricky how it says 3-3 three, three, because it might make them think they can't actually tap this. And that'll do. Alright, that's all I had to see. about any of these
cards? I don't think so. Our sideboard is not uh, that robust, unfortunately. Um, you know what? I'll keep this hand. Super Fritz, have a good uh, have a good worker, you know what have you. Both of our uh, petitioners are in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, they did them all again. We did start that game with six lands and a two drop. That's actually a good point. Our opening hand was six lands in one card, so it did give them a significant amount of. Uh, significant amount of time oh let's play 2-1 uh, I never oh man I, I, I like both of these but unfortunately this is not going to be great for us and this is 6 mana Ugh. at no point do I ever not want this I guess on turn 2 is maybe the point but yeah we have to hit some lands here I think that's really sad I think both of those could be good but we don't have a second blue we also don't have uh, a, th a fourth, fifth, or sixth land. So. Yep, that was a pretty, uh, pretty easy pick. Oh wow, they didn't do anything. That's fascinating. Oh, they just lose the game. All right, cool. <laughs> I was like, Dovin Bong goes with a five, right? He pluses one to three, and then our two guys would make it five. And then we get to play out uh, another a one three. Yeah, that that was that was pretty okay. Wow, you give me all the good hits here, huh? Swirling Torrent, Essence Capture, Dovin Bon, and one land. Uh, this is better. Bottom of you. Stoneward, thanks so much for the resub. Thanks for the entertainment. Thanks for the support. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. That is a dude. Also, if we get to go high alert into this guy and maybe another guy that'd be gas just have a bunch of three threes oh, one three eh? fascinating I just can't get enough how come this isn't a bird advisor it's a courier right that's kind of like a bird advisor actually not bad now we can play this guy and keep up quench we're gonna get to a point where we can play this and keep up quench or play binding keep up quench and that's pretty okay yeah I'm definitely quenching that i put you in the garbage can um, I kind of just want a high alert here, but I don't really want to take... I, we have Essence Capture, which I think is super strong, so I'm actually just going to activate this dude. Get in with our boy. And then maybe we'll mill them twice if they don't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't care about this at all. Yeah, I mean, it's whatever. Oh, you're just going to sacrifice your dude? Sure. Wow. That seems, that seems wasteful, I'll be honest. Oh yeah, that's what we're doing. Yep, that's what we're looking for. Uh, high alert. I will definitely trade this guy for one of these guys. Or you can just go to eight. That's also an option. Yeah, I also looked up advisors, and there's, like, literally two advisors in standard, which is kind of sad, because when they said, like, when they had this card that's, like, tap four untapped advisors, I think, like, there was this advisor sub-theme that they scattered throughout, and, and there's not. Wait, what's going on? They have one swamp up? Uh, Alright, let's get rid of this guy, I guess. All right. Um, sure. Let's get rid of the flyer. Because now you're dead on board. I don't even want to do that. That's a, that's the funny thing. Yeah. Okay. I believe you jump in the line. You want to end on. Okay. A gigantosaur. Not terrible, all things considered. Whew. Dove and Bond is actually pretty impressive the problem is you want to play them in a control deck like in for constructed applications you want to play them in a control deck however you want to be able to have creatures a bunch of creatures out to to actually plus him but um eh, his hand's not great it's not terrible though either i think it's keepable if we can draw a shadow mage infiltrator forgot what that dude's called it's pretty good gives me a reason to hold these guild gates but right now i want to play one of them sure the rally spell do plus one plus three and untap our creatures I don't think it's super good, but we have a uh, high alert, I think it's called, which makes us attack with our butts instead of our fronts, which makes it a lot better. I see. I see. There you go. Speak of the devil. He did speak of the devil. Also, I'm yeah, we're just going to play this and play the other two drop and then next turn we can play uh, high alert if we don't draw anything else and then we can play humongulus after that mm. butt alert yeah high butt the high butt the high butt alert we'll just call it that Are you gonna quench this? Lucky, 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 lucky. Yep, that was pretty good.
Wait, what? Turn player with the snap card of the. There we go. I was like, oh, look, another quench. A second quench. Dubs quenches, if you will. Good luck beating this guy. The, this turn, each creature enters the battlefield with an additional one one counter. That's actually very strong. Yeah, we went over this in the uh, the set review. If you guys have not done so, you can check those out on YouTube as well. Part 1 and 2 went up on Saturday and Sunday. They are missing, like, multiple land drops. Sure. Hmm. Well, the problem is if we attack with this guy, they can just block with both of these guys. Man, high alert. God. We'd have a 5-5 five, five, and two three threes. It's pretty rough. The beats are real. We have the top four cards of your library. Oh, so this is just three mana. This is just two mana. This is impulse at sorcery speed. It's not too bad. What are these things you're sending here? Oh, you're just linking. Nice. <laughs> Quality. Quality content. We could mill them. You gonna attack with your little bird, bird bro? We'll get there. Three cards a turn. I mean, it's not nothing. Oh wow, that's a lot more cards per turn. Hooey! It's top three, right? Oh, that's nice. This is five cards a turn. Now we got a real strategy, boys. Well, we don't have the mana for Rally Untap yet, because it would cost like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 mana to uh, get the full potential of Rally. Does this give Vigilance? No. Sure. Fairy duelist. You got it. Neg two, nego till end of turn. I mean, I probably would have waited a turn to play this so that I could activate his ability and then give it a counter so it's a 2-3. Because then you're just playing a 2-3 for 4 instead of a 1-2 for 2. Which I think is significantly better because this is not really that bad. Sure. Also, 2-8 Hexproof. Woo! What a time to be alive. What do we get here? Gross Spiral, Skitter Eel, and Stony Strength. Nice. Uh, I don't foresee us attacking here. Also, if they ever want to do this, we can... And if they have any, like, tricks, like a plus three, plus three, we can attempt to rally. We might actually just put this dude to sleep. I do think you need a log. Um... Even Hearthstone has, like, a, a minor log. Look at the top five cards. Sure. 
It's too bad you don't put those in the graveyard, then you'd be helping me out. Like, even Hearthstone has a minor log of cards that go to, uh, that, that have things have happened. So it's kind of hard to be like, wait, what just happened? And literally, you literally like, have no idea. There's no actual, like, reference as to what happened, like, two moves ago. Move a 1-1 counter from here onto the floaty boy. All right, so you're, you're not planning on getting in with the floaty boy. Yep, I wanted to stop at the beginning of combat. Not not when not when you were able to attack. So that's unfortunate. When it says stop at combat, that should mean beginning of combat, right? Like I don't know why they're still able to attack if I hit stop at combat. That's kind of frustrating. One, two, three, four. I, I kinda just want to put this on here to be honest with you. It's not gonna do anything now, but whatever, I'll take three and I'll Yep, I think creatures this effect can erase. Sure. Oh, what was that? Galloping, galloping Lizrog? Another fairy duelist. Oh, that's nice. Now we're talking. They got 13 cards? Yeah, we'll just pass here. Oh, yes. Play a creature. I dare you. I'm just going to counter this. I have no idea what the last card in your hand is, so. Wow, I can't believe we're milling them out in limited. This is gas. So they're going to have seven cards. Then we can go three, four, five. They're going to draw one at six. Ha da da. How many? They have seven cards. One, two, three, four. So we can actually mill them here, right? No, I don't think we can. We're one mana shy. <laughs> All right. Well, we tried. It's close enough. Persistent pet petitioners getting the job done. Wow, that is unbelievable. I did not expect that. Like, our, our sideboard is so limited. Ah, because it's limited. Ah, that's funny. Yeah, it's fine. I think we're good still. We still have two. We have one quench in the main deck? Oh, maybe we want a second quench. <sighs> yeah, I'll keep this hand. It's got lands, it's got plays. This card is super strong. It's got all the things. Tempo beats, mill wins, butt talks. This stream has it all. You're right. You're correct. I'm actually surprisingly thrilled about drawing this. <laughs> it's like, are you gonna quench my persistent petitioners? Oh my god, are you are you that afraid? Making your way in the world and anything for everything you got. If they don't play a dude, we just get to draw a card. They always, this here comes three, four. They have two, three, fours. I guarantee you they have one of them. Bingo. This is how you do it. 
definitely playing you. Two five drops and a six drop. And a four drop that doesn't really do much here, so. I guess we're playing this and equipping it to this guy. As much as I would like to put it on here so that we have, uh, cause they're, they're, they're more likely to kill this guy anyway, cause it's just a better card. But this guy already has an ability that I would like to use if I don't have anything else to do on my turn, so. Hey, two wild and crazy guys. Oh, it's, I guess we just literally, <laughs> what even? Wow. All right. Well, I didn't expect that. Ooh, a Chainer's Torment. That's exciting. Well, all right. We're doing good. We're two wild and crazy guys. But we got a one three. It can mill me for one each turn. I'm out. I gotta go. This hand seems great if we can hit like land land. That is not a land. That's literally the opposite of a land. It's not the opposite, but it's not a land. Is really what I'm. That's a land. Making your way in the world and eating everything you got. Head on over to MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore if you guys are looking for a sweet a sweet wardrobe upgrade. And uh, you guys, that was a great draw because now our, our guys can 15%. You'll get 15% you'll get off along with free shipping and free returns. So uh, don't sleep on that deal. But sleep in those comfortable undies and the comfortable onesie that you'll buy. We're both going to play Sphinx of New Prov. You ready? Here it is. The screaming shield art is unsettling. You're right. That's actually uh that's actually on point right there. No, that's not okay. Did they tap out for they just bounced my gateway sneak? Sure. He's not screaming, he's yawning. You ever thought? Um, I didn't actually think about that. And the reason was because it's called Screaming Shield, not Yawning Shield. But, uh, Puppy Dog Eyes, long time no see, buddy. Yeah, it's a good seeing you, sir. Um,. We can actually put this on here, but so it's a blue deck. So the most thing they're gonna do is like bounce this guy. Do they have a counter spell? Probably. Do they want to play something bad and do it? Okay. Okay. You got me. I mean, there's nothing we could have done about that anyway. Is this... Actually, maybe there is. Is there... That is an instant. Oh, no. We done messed up, eh, Aaron? That was pretty bad. I'm not a fan of what just happened. Yeah, we should have played this post-combat. The reason I played it was because I just wanted... I figured they had a counter spell. God, what a dumb thing to do. I did choose poorly. If we can draw an untapped land, we get to go binding into Dovin Bond. Which is pretty okay. I would like to have just a like a one four flyer to block these idiots. Oh, I guess this makes flyers. Wow, this is a lot of watchful giants. Alright, that was pretty good, I guess. I mean, Dovin Bond just dies if we if we do anything. We get rid of this guy. We block the other guy. We block here. Dovin takes two. No, we block one. 
But then Dovin takes two, and he's already at two, so that's pretty bad. Sure would help a lot. Something like to get over here. Okay, just put this on here. Equip for three, keep up binding. And then we do get to block both of these guys, which means they probably won't attack with them anyway. <sighs> yeah, I think this is a pretty pivotal turn that we actually threw away. That's going to cost us. I just went to MeUndies and there were no wardrobes to be found. Do you mind if I shred some documents while... No, you can knock yourself out. Shred away, my good sir. Let's see what we got. Oh, Hero of Pre-Saint 1. That's a good one. Uh, plus 1, plus 2, and has Vigilance. And if we play it during our turn, they get... So if we... What is this, five? So this would be seven? Boy, I would sure like to have some. So if we tap this guy down, we can block, block. Make a blocker for here. Where are my creatures at? Where are my floaty boys at? That's my question. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass here. No attacks, come on. This is an aggressive attack. So all of these guys, huh? Oh, fascinating. Negative two, sure. Well, we we're hoping for a counter spell, non squelchable. That's fine. Uh, that is actually the. That is actually the Roomba. Before damage, can I do this? I'd like to do this before damage. We don't get the lifelink, but it still gets rid of the 3-3, which is pretty relevant. Or at least we hope it does. It does. Okay, flyer one time. 2-4 flyer. I mean, a creature's a creature at this point. 
You have vigilance and you have hexproof. What a time to be alive. So you can bind one of the three sixes. We can play a Dovin and then like untap our guys and make them all like pretty sizable. So we'll have, we'll play this, well, yeah, we only can play one, right? We can play one, we'll have three blockers, one, two, three. Dovin will take a million, so he'll be dead. So I'm pretty sure we just play this and then keep up uh, Law Mage's binding. It is DJ Roomba, that is correct. I guess we'll end the turn here. All of our things have flash except for Dovin, Dovin Bon, which is not his name. Sure. That makes my choice pretty easy. Cool. Five, six, seven, eight. Seems good. Well, I'm glad I hit concede and you still forced me to go through the getting your ass kick motions. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this in. It's a little slow, but it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Don't play a two drop. Just give me a three drop, and we'll call it even. Yep, that's a good one. I wish I had an answer for that guy. That's actually a good three drop. Especially with Sentinel's Mark and Tappy Boys. I wish this guy was a 3 3. <laughs> oh, man. Is he being for real? I don't know. I don't really like the. Uh the potential of getting two for one here. I do want to hit a land drop though. We did not hit a land drop, but maybe we will. I'll play my one two flyer and prevent you from drawing a card. Oh you my god, you didn't? Give me a land. One time. Just give me one land. It's not, I'm not asking for a lot. I guess I'm asking for too much. Well. Seems good. Azorius a guild gain off the top. I'll just... Four drop. Seems good. All right. I like it. I don't actually like it, but... Uh, What can you do? Oh my god, just give me a land now. Yes! <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Alright, now we're talking. Now we got a game. Can we go Sentinel's Mark into High Alert? Seems good. What is this guy? 5-5 five, five at that point with lifelink for the turn?
Well. Oh, biscuits. Yeah, I would ask myself, like, if I missed a land drop and I had a 1-1, one, one, I would just block with the 1-1 one, one to prevent from hitting land drops, like... For six mana, this card doesn't seem good. When it's on the board, it's fine, but like, it just doesn't seem great for six. I don't know. Really missing my land drops here. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna keep playing on curve because we have a lot of three drops and a two a two mana card. Done. Stay. No attacks. We're at the point where we're just like, is it a land? Thank goodness. land this card's gonna be great uh however they have shown us the card that uh is five million mana that counters a thing so we get to do two things this turn we get to keep this up so we're probably not playing white card or probably they're playing this or this gentleman i don't really want high alert getting countered on this board pretty relevant yeah see if you want to counter my homungulus you do you do just put it just counter it and put it in the there you go. Congratulations. Oh, it's only three mana. I thought it was five mana for some reason. Two lands and a... Sure, that's fine. Sure. Well, they have two cards in hand, and I feel like we actually have a lot of gas in our hand. Do you want to counter this guy, too? Well, that's fascinating. All right. Huh. So next time we can play this and equip this and we get like a butt ton of life. We're not in a position where we can attack because they'll just... Oh, they can't block with this guy, can they? I actually forgot this guy was... Uh... Oh, they're going to blink this guy, though. Ugh. All right, that's actually not as bad. Oh, wait, that doesn't do anything. That still does nothing. Oh, that's fantastic. That's not going to work the way you think it works. Oh, wow. I love that High Alert just blanks all of our opponent's slime binds. Sure, that's fine. I won't attack then. Can we get into one Azorius Guildgate? We could also trade here. That would have been nice to play. I actually might have been, might have been worth trading double sneaks for, for this guy. Actually, I'm going to cancel this. I don't want to... I don't actually want to commit more things. Um, what is this? Two to equip? This is five... We have six total mana. One, two, three, four, five. Can't do that. I don't want to pay two more to attack. Drake doesn't really do much, though. I guess it's just another three, three. I 
I like equipping and just playing 10th District Veteran here. Next turn we have a really good turn where we can Swirling Torrent two of their blockers. My only problem with Arena is that uh, the drafts are significantly longer because they can be up to seven rounds instead of, like, actually six rounds, right? Because you can lose one and then still win five, which would be six total. So there's no way to get seven because you can't lose two and win five. So, yeah, they can be up to six rounds long. Wow, neither of these guys can be blocked? Sweet mother biscuits. They have two cards, we're just gonna pass here. There you go. I wanted them to give them a chance to play their cards because I want to be able to resolve this post-combat. They got a two here? That's a yikes for me, dog. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, all right. <laughs> Swirling Torrent on the stack, I will concede. Oh, uh, I was looking at a Gruel mid-range deck for standard. Uh, I think it's there's definitely the tools are there for it. Do I want another Quench? Like, it feels like Quench could be good in this matchup. Probably better than the per Persistent Petitioners. Yeah, this can's fine. It's a little slow, but hold on one second. I have to go get uh, the the Roomba is eating the cat toy. So give me one second. I'll be right back. And we're back. Unseen Spectre, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> the Roomba was eating the cat toy. <sighs> Yep, that card's good. We do get to quench.
All right. Well, we're hoping you miss a land, a blue here. Because it seems like you're color screwed with you have three mana and no plays. Hold on, the room was eating the cat. <laughs> Gotta go. Being able to untap and go Sphinx into... Uh... Wow, that was a slow roll. <laughs> I guess I'll play my island. Yeah, well, I mean, we're pretty much windmill slamming this, so. You got it, my dude. Even if I want to land, we can still Sage, Rose Savant, and keep up Quench. So we have, you have three flying power, three floaty power. I kind of just want to bop you, but then, like, this guy never dies. Um, you can stay home. JMO, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, the cards should be good enough. Yeah, Robotora, there's, there's, there's both cards that are good enough to incorporate into existing decks. There's also cards that are good enough uh, to create their own archetypes. So, yes to both. Enjoy your little one. One. They have one card in hand. Wow, I feel like we're in really good shape here. I see. So they have. We're gonna have a guy. Do we want a plus or to go to two? Like if we go to two, we're gonna have four blockers. Or, or we can put Doven up to five, which is pretty strong with three blockers. I mean, if they block here, it's fine. It's got Vigilance. And I don't mind using Sentinel's Mark to take out like a hero and a Sage's Gentleman. Or we can just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I think having a 3-4 is probably better. 3-5 is probably better here. Uh, Dovin has been great so far, yes. Surprisingly so. <laughs> That's actually nice with high alert. Wow, that's actually really nice with high alert. They have one card in hand? God, I feel like we're way hard. Eric, welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. The problem we've been having is that we just have a lot of things to do. Like, we can play high alert and this guy. We can play this and this guy. We can just play this guy by itself. Like, now that they have both of these guys, I'm, almost, I'm tempted to just... I hate to do it, but I'm tempted to binding on this guy just to get him out of the way. It's not it's not super good, but they're at 12 and like, well, they played this guy, so we're not actually attacking this turn, which is worth noting. So we're probably just going to make a dude. And we'll play Spirit here. And no attacks because of this guy. 
Yeah, next time we can play both of these, which is nice. All right, they have one card in hand. I feel like we're ahead. We have a 2-2 two -two flyer, a 4-4 four -four flyer, a 4-4 four -four flyer, and a 5-5 five -five ground guy with if high alert resolves. Sure, that's fine. That's yikes for me, dog. So they only have three power in the air. Seems fine, I guess. And we're definitely going to try to hit a land here. Windstorm Drake is actually not as good. I like Screaming Shield because of High Alert, but I think it's just a little too cute here. I'd rather just hit a land so we can Swirling Torn and close this game out. And it doesn't matter. Wow. Are we undefeated right now? Apparently we're, undefe we're undefeated in Ravnica drafts. In this one particular draft, we are undefeated in Ravnica drafts. <sighs> butt defeated <laughs> yeah we're butt defeated that is correct that is correct Melvin the Muppet what's going on buddy long time no see so you're saying we have two drop into Dovenbon and two double sneaks and if we draw any land we get to uh God, I really want to keep this just so we can trigger both of these guys. That would be real good. It seems a little greedy, though. Watch, it's going to be planes on top, and it's going to feel so bad. All right, so based on the speed of this resolving, it doesn't seem like they have a quench in hand. But they could have the three-mana counter spell. They do not. Yeah, being able to resolve a Dovin on turn three on an empty board is pretty nice. Call to Zaya, thank you so much for saying so. Really appreciate it. You are also awesome. Wow, that's a good card. But uh, it's okay. We got the we got the medicine for it. I mean, the card's still nuts, but... But next time we can play 2-drop in 3-drop, which is nice. Being able to scry every turn, even if we even if we Lawbringer's binding it, is, Law Mage's binding it is still pretty good. Froggy boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. So you're just a you're just a froggy boy. You have trample though. That's pretty good. Oh, we're not blocking you. I could just play one drop into this and just try to. I don't even know. All 
Alright, well, not terrible. So next time we can play Double Gateway Sneak, which is fine. I mean, theoretically, we can get a bunch more tokens out of Dovin Bond, which could be fine. Well, that guy doesn't fly yet. It also doesn't have trample. This guy... No, this guy doesn't get counters all of a sudden. Huh. Well, this is awkward. We can play double sneak, which is just like... Hmm. We can also just attack for two and put Dovin Bon up to, what, six? Play Spires to be able to block here, but then they pump this guy, so we block here instead. Dovin takes four. I think it's actually double sneaks. I mean, theoretically, we can triple block this guy. We trade with one sneak. I think that's fine. If Dovin, if they want to waste their turn and tap out and put Dovin to two, I'm okay with that. The action adventure magic blockbuster you've been waiting for. Dovin Bond returns in for your scries only. <laughs> that's, that's actually uh, that's 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 actually pretty good. Uh, you've been waiting all year for it. The coveted sequel to For Your Scries Only, Dovin Bond returns in, not without my scrying. Oh, God. I think we're gonna risk it. I think it's I think it's a good risk. Like, I don't think there's that many pump spells, but if they have one, it's bad. I guess if, if it's plus three plus three, it's a two for one. I don't know. Oh, the scrying game is good too. I hope they don't have any tricks and they're just their plan was just to pump this the skate wing. Come on. Come on, don't have any tricks. Ain't gonna have no tricks. They might just pump the skate to deal two. Yep, that's pretty good. That's a two for one. So long both gateway sneaks. I guess we could have actually chump blocked. Yeah, that was pretty terrible for us. Back up to five we go. Wow, this Sphinx of Foresight's really obnoxious. <laughs> Skate wing is six to adapt, yeah. It's costly, but it's actually very, very good, so it makes sense. Oh no, I've got to keep on moving. Okay. Okay. 
Well, I'm blocking here, and if you want to kill... Do you not have... You don't have six. Oh, they don't even have six yet. Wow. I thought they had six mana. Wow. That was entirely incompetent. Wow, what a dummy. Sure. So they have no... So we can actually put Dovenbot up to, like, eight right now, and then play Sphinx as well? Oh, I guess they just concede. Wow, that's pretty insane. <laughs> okay, not what I was expecting there. All right. Well, I do like the extra quench here. Take out one of the petitioners. I think that's fine. How many creatures do we have? We have like 11 creatures. That's so not, that's so not a lot. I think Rally to Battle is a little too cute. We have not, we have yet to use that. Whereas like a 2-3 for 4 that becomes a 4-5 flyer is probably better for us. The only thing we saw that would be good with Expose was the enchantment. And I don't think it's great. Ain't nothing gonna hold me down, oh no. Oh, we've got three drop, four drop, five drop. You know, I'll keep this hand. It's slow, but it's got a lot of... <laughs> crying out loud. Sure. Uh, I think I gotta... I think it's, I think it's eye drop time, guys. I think I missed that one, too. Got that one. Okay. Shredder overheated. <laughs> oh. Well, this is convenient because now we drew the quench on the one turn we have nothing to play. Play something good. Oh, if they miss the land drop, this is great because we can go 1 4, and then next turn we can keep up both of these, actually. Jeez. I really want to just counter this Sphinx that we know about, so... Yeah, that's fine. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a bubba dub a break a day back. What are the odds they hit an island here? Do I just want to play this? Two counter spells. It feels like it's not worth it, right? All right. Well, if you play any four drop, we'll quench it. What? No. They were going to draw a card from that. If we hit a land, we can go Gateway Sneak. Oh, God, I forgot about the ability. I'm so stupid. Wow, I was like, oh, prevent two damage. Oh, that was just terrible. Oh, that was just terrible. Well, I missed a land drop. Oh, God, that was bad. Just hit me in the face right now. Wow. For some reason, I thought it was only when it, like, nope, didn't want to do that. Okay, well, Jesus. All right, so this is a this is a what's the what's the word I'm looking for? A, a, com a comedy of errors? Is that what it's called? Yeah, I don't care about the vigilance. I really, I don't. I'm not giving a shit about dealing one extra damage, man. Take it easy. Um, 
Yeah, that's fine. Land. Uh, like this. This is an easy law law mages, but I don't I don't care about the. I don't care about the one damage. I'd rather if they have like a if they play something for three and then they quench our counter spell. I'd rather just be able to counter that. Like there's literally no reason to deal one damage here. Like it's pretty careless. I guess we actually could play shield there. That was that was bad because we uh, depends on if we're trying to play around everything. Stop fucking doing that. Oh my god. That's really obnoxious. That's extremely obnoxious. Like, now we can't play Law Mage's Binding. That's so frustrating. Wow. That's really annoying. Like, I'm just, like, so frustrated. I mean, auto-tap saves you infinite time, and the amount of times it, it messes up is very minimal. Um, the problem is that it's still bad when it does. Yeah, I don't care about that at all. Well, wow, they're really, like, just not playing this, even when they have six mana, which is really kind of weird. Like, are you just playing around Essence Capture? Because, like, you could afford to play this and play around Quench here, but you're not, so I guess... It's kind of weird. Okay, are we in blocks? Okay, we're in blocks. Block you, block you. Tireless Tractor, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Playing Sultai, Hadana's Climb, and FNM in your honor. I've won five of the last six. Nice, dude. I appreciate the entertainment and education. Keep up the great work here. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Um. Yep, still not going to do anything. Could have gotten in there for a point. Drawn a card. Okay, one down. One down. And the current board say they don't play anything. Sure, they don't. But, I mean, this isn't a format where you have a white-blue sweeper card. Like, so not playing anything in a limited match when they don't have a way to penalize you for it is not the best strategy. I mean, as far as I know, the only sweeper card in the set is white-black, and we don't we haven't shown any black, so... Okay, I'm gonna go pass. Nope, don't wanna do that. I guess we wanna play binding here onto this guy. And hope you don't have a counter for it. <sighs> sure. Wow. All right. Well. Cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, I still don't care about exposed to daylight. play if we can get a land and a three drop or a just two lands I'd be fine well that'll do chief fucker thank you so much for the reason for the sub really appreciate it welcome back do I have anybody to deal with this efficiently not really The problem is with that card is that we just have no way to really deal with it in the long term. So, yeah, that's fine. Oh, do I like a quench here? Not really. block they play 4-4 four, four. Oh, they just bounce our guy also fine feels like they should have attacked first oh, all right well that's a better draw Uh, Shield has been fine in this deck, especially with um, high alert, because it's basically plus three, plus three. Yep, seems good. Oh, that was nice. I'm gonna play this guy because it blocks here. Like, how does we take five damage and have no recourse for it? How do I just be able to block here? Yeah, we also won a game by milling, so that was pretty nice. Good times. We're just gonna block here, like whatever. If you have a trick, it's fine. I know you do. They always do. They always do. Hmm. <laughs> yep, never fails. Sorry, what is this guard? Is it just a locket? Sure. Actually, I'm going to hold back and just try to block this guy. I don't think we're in a racing situation. Whereas, like, equipping this next turn is pretty good. If we hit a land, we can equip and play Code of Constraint, I guess? What's up, Mind Stab Thrill? <sighs> 
Let's see if this does anything. Sure, trade three two for three two that let me scry for three three. Okay. Well, that's obnoxious. I actually kind of like just putting this on here. Yep, that seemed pretty good. And now the uh, spider is not really a problem. And they have one card in hand? I guess they get to draw two. I imagine it would have tapped that way automatically anyway, leaving you with two and two, but... You know what? Hard to tell. Yeah, still two cards in hand. Seems fine. Is there any two things we can do? No. We can do one thing. We can equip. Or we can just play Homunculus, I guess. Do you have a quench? Do you have an essence capture? Just oh, resolves. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is nice, because we can just bounce this dude. Yeah, this is pretty busted if we hit a land here. We did not. But... So what we can do is just play 1-3 and then equip this guy, so that they have, like, no profitable blocks. And their attacks are not great either. All right, Steeple Creeper. Can we get one land for this? Because I feel like it puts us way ahead. If by way ahead you mean winning, then yes. I did. That was what I meant. Yes. Well, that's not. So, four, five, six, seven. We can put this on one of these idiots. God, this card is good, but we just can't use it. You got it. So we hit a Senate Courier and two lands. That's actually fine. So if we attack, they have they can activate this guy four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not ideal. We can just wait. They have no cards. You can also mill them for two, three, whatever this whatever this card does. Mm-hmm. 
Let's see what we hit. What? N-Ray's Forerunners? <laughs> Yikes. And a Simic Guildgate. Oh, wow, that was insane. All right, so now we're just going to... We're going to bop all your dudes. Um, I kind of rather you play four, five, six, seven. You're going to have to chump with whatever we, whatever we leave on board. So what do we want to get rid of? Probably... We don't want to actually... I guess this is a lot more mana to invest, right? And if we actually keep this on board, you can't pump this guy the same turn. One, two. So this guy and this guy. It doesn't really matter which is which because they don't have flash. Oh, I like this. The red arrow tells you which one is which. Oh, that's a really clear, that's great. I'm a fan of that. Oh, they just conceded. Uh, they hath ended the game. They could have blocked. What's our reward? A oh, raff. All right, so we got one more, one more round, and then I can go eat some dinner. How does that sound? You guys okay with that? See that we're already at like two hours and eight minutes, whereas a normal draft would take me about an hour and twenty minutes. What? No, not wait. Why did my wait? What just happened? Did we win? Was that the end? Oh, I guess we won. <laughs> I guess we're ready five zero. Well, that's all right then. Let's open these packs. Yep, that card's hot garbage. You won. Okay, well. I guess I uh, didn't. I didn't even. I didn't know my own strength. Apparently, <laughs> my mistake. How awkward. Oh, I love. I love a good wild card. I love a mythic wild card better. But you know, what are you gonna do? Oh, I like a good. I like a good seraph of the scales. Magic is easy when you win all the time. You are right. That is correct. Frank, when he wins, surprised Pikachu. Gas. Oh, I was going to make one of these, and now I don't have to. Nice. I have two of them. And, uh... Yeah, all right, not too bad, not too bad. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you are new on Twitch, feel free to slam those follow or subscribe buttons. Both of those help me out a ton. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can slam the like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on YouTube, you can also check out the uh, Twitch and Patreon pages in the description below for all kinds of information on how you can support the channel. And you can check out meundies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. I'm going to head out for now. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.